Welcome back. This is Why in the Morning and today is WCW. We are asking you the question, how do you tell someone you love, maybe you're, someone you're dating about a behavior that you don't like without hurting their feelings? You know, to my to have any opinion about them without hurting their feelings. Talk to us. Uh, the hashtag is WCW at Y254 channel across all social platforms. For now, we are uh, joined by our first guest, uh, a woman, you know, strength of woman. And we are talking about uh, uh, girl child empowerment. Uh, we usually say that when you educate one child, uh, one girl child in the community, you have educated the whole community. And we want to find out how true this is. And for that, we are joined by Susan Osiche, who is the CEO and founder of Inuakike, an organization that seeks to empower uh, young girls through education. Karibu sana, Susan. Asante sana. We are glad to have you with us. Thank you so much. So uh, as we start, tell us uh, really uh, what Inuakike is, because we know it's a good, great organization which is out there to help uh, women with their education. Uh, first of all, let me say thank you, uh, Y254, for having me here today. I've never been here, but this is my first time and I'm really uh, grateful for the opportunity. Uh, I'm Susan Osiche, uh, the CEO of Inuakike organization. Inuakike mm -hmm. is a grassroots organization. We are based in Madare. Uh, we, our area of focus is around uh, women empowerment uh, through education, uh, advocacy, and mm -hmm. leadership program. Okay. Yes. So under education program, uh, we take girls who dropped out of secondary school. Mm -hmm. uh, we give them the second chance uh, to, we prepare them, we tutor them, and then do registration for them to sit for the KCSE examination uh, mm. as the private candidates to attain their certificates. These are girls who dropped out, who dropped out uh, due to early pregnancy, early marriage, or lack of school fee. So actually, uh, educa the education part is what birthed in Wakike. Mm. Uh, we call it Someshe Kike program. Someshe Kike program. Yes. So yes. Uh, you know, Akiki has three programs. Yes. Which is so much Akiki. We have the advocacy and the leadership. Yes. Right. So the education is there to give the ladies uh, a second chance to education. Yes. Just that you know, dropped out for one reason or, an or another. Yes. The reasons that you have listed. Yes. So mm -hmm. uh, Inua Kike uh, was founded in 2016, mm -hmm. and our first cohort of uh, uh, five girls. Actually, we had uh, like 13 of them. Uh, who applied uh, to come uh, for the Someshe Kike program. But due to the limited funds we had at that moment, we could not take in all of them. So we only had five uh, who went through the program and successfully sat for their KCSE exam. Uh, mm -hmm. We also had the second cohort in 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, these were young, young ladies, uh, nine of them, uh, who also went through the program and uh, sat for the KCSE examination. And now we have eight of them who are sitting and uh, probably most of them will be done uh, mm -hmm. by Friday. So, okay, that's so nice. All right, <laughs> thank congratulations. You. What you're doing is really thank you, uh, thank you. empowering. So why the gap between the years? Because you started in 2016. Yes. And then the next one you did in 2019. Yes. So is it the funds that... Uh, <laughs> Derailed you? Actually, with the program, uh, we have the plan of uh, having them for two years, uh, maybe one and a half, and then they sit for the KCSE examination. Okay. But later on, we realized that, you see, these are young girls uh, who go for their hustle during the day, and then in the evening, they come sit for, for classes. Mm -hmm. So we only have them from 4 p.m. Uh, to 6, 6.30 p.m. in the evening. So during the day, they go hustle because they have to fend for their kids because uh, they are young mothers. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them dropped out due to early pregnancy. And uh, so we have to give them a chance uh, to go hustle and during mm -hmm. the day. And then in the evening, they come for their classes. And actually, we love their motivation because it's not easy for you to go hustle, yes. come back, sit for, uh, uh, come to Class. study in mm. class, and then going back home, you have your kid there, 
-hmm. And sometimes most of them could carry their kids to, to class. class because they have no one to leave their kids with. Yeah, I'm imagining how much a struggle it is, <laughs> especially now, you know, with the economy, you have to go look for food. You yes. still, you know, women wear so many hats. You're, you're still going to look for food. You're the, ones that, you're the one that the children, you know, are looking up to in terms of what needs to be done here. You also have your husband to look after, you know, and then you still have classes to come to. And I'm imagining there's also some assignments, sometimes exams. You yes, know. yes. So how do they balance? How do they strike a balance? Whew. It's not an easy job. I'll talk about it because um, actually that is where my story comes in. Yes. So let me continue introducing uh, what we do, the mm. other two programs, and then I come to my story. Okay. We uh, under there. advocacy mm. program, uh, these are school retainers uh, programs that we thought about because we do not wait for a girl child to drop out of secondary school so that we can come in to help. Mm -hmm. So we also uh, had to come up with uh, programs to keep a girl child in school. So these are mentorship programs that we go to schools and do the mentorship programs on uh, life skills. Uh, we just talk, we give a talk on what is happening with their lives on their daily basis. And then uh, we also have reproductive health where mm -hmm. we give uh, dignity packs Mm -hmm. uh, to the girl child and we talk about matters reproductive health uh, mm -hmm. we also have um, a valisha kike pro program uh, these are school distribution uniforms that we do uh, we are going to do the first pilot uh, project in in may actually mm -hmm. we are waiting for schools to reopen and then we go do our first pilot and with this, we're still looking for partnerships uh, for people who can come through because uh, having this program, we are trying to fight absenteeism in school. Yeah. And then uh, also we are fighting uh, self-esteem. You see, we have teachers who mm. have this tendency of mm. working their class. They ask a question and you have to answer. And when you answer, you have to wake up and uh, answer the question. question. So sometimes you, f you see a girl child as worn a, a torn uniform, mm -hmm. maybe imeraruka uku nyuma. So standing up, na kujibu inakuwa. Yes. Um, so that self-esteem is what we are fighting. Mm -hmm. And we try to keep this girl child in school by uh, trying to give them, uh, to distribute school, school uniforms. uniforms. Mm -hmm. uh, we, all, we also do couple talks. Uh, this we involve their parents. Uh, this we, is still under advocacy. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. We fight GB, GBV actually with this uh, because a girl child needs a, a very conducive environment uh, for her when she goes to school uh, to have, uh, to perform well actually so, in school. So you uh -huh. might find, and this one, I'll give an example with my parents. Before you give the example, okay. is this the couple talk? Is it for the parents of the students? Yes. Okay. So, so right. we try to talk to the parents uh, mm -hmm. so that they can give a, a conducive, a good environment, okay. a peaceful environment mm -hmm. for the girl child because uh, I'll give an example with my younger sister. Mm -hmm. Sometimes back when she was sitting for the KCSE examination, Mm -hmm. My parents used to fight a lot. So by the time uh, she wakes up in the morning, akienda shule, hizi vitu zimeja kwa kili yake kabisa. When she tries to concentrate uh, to do her examination, she can't. And uh, she's one person we had so, we, much, so much hopes in. Yes, we thought she would give us uh, some good grades. Mm. But uh, because of whatever happened, uh, she couldn't uh, perform, perform well. well. But she really tried uh, because the environment we lived in wasn't conducive for her. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is about the couple talk. Mm -hmm. So we also do um, uh, entrepreneurship program uh, to the parents. Uh, we try to mentor them on business skills mm -hmm. and uh, try to help them with some startup, uh, Biashara. Uh, so that at least someone can afford school fee ya kupeleka msichana shule na maybe kumsaidi hata na one, two, three akienda shule. So uh, that is under advocacy. We have leadership program. We Before you go to leadership, okay. uh, so that we still and un we understand the advocacy well, uh, the one you've said under entrepreneurship. Okay. So is th this, this is the one that you help the parents in 
coming up with business startups and and all that yes. so do you give them financial aid when they to start up this business um well? right now we only do uh, the mentorship part because we have very limited funding for this and uh, actually we are still looking for partnership as well uh, under this program uh, mm -hmm. so that we can give them uh, the support, the full support they need. Mm -hmm. uh, when we give the, when we talk about uh, business skills, uh, teach, them, teach them how to run their businesses. Mm -hmm. We can also talk uh, talk about the startups, okay. uh, some little funding uh, for them to start their their businesses or maybe boost their business. Yes, and um, the case on GBV, how efficient is it? Do they the, do the parents listen? Does it make yes, a difference? Yes, they do listen. We had one, and this one we we partnered with Strathmore University. Uh, it was under gender equality at home. Mm -hmm. So this was about communication. How do you communicate at home? Mm -hmm. uh, do you guys sit down and talk about financial matters? Uh, do you discuss about how much are you getting and how much I'm getting? Can we put together and do something together as a family? Your vision as a family, what is your vision as a family? Mm -hmm. Not you, but as a family. Uh, do you sit down your kids and talk to them freely, like understand what is going on with their lives? At some point, do you share the house chores? Like, mm -hmm. it's not about all women at yeah. your own, your America, yes. yes. Yeah. So, can you like uh, sit down, do you at a uyu monamke, anatoka in the morning and end up kutafuta? In the evening, anarudi amechoka. Maybe we were leo ukuenda. Can you help out with the house chores? Mm -hmm. So, when we did the first, that was the pilot program, Natujai Pata Fandia Kuendelea Nai. Okay. We just did a pilot and then uh, uh, we talked, we really talked. You find uh, mm -hmm. the, we, the men, uh, when they come in for the first time, mm -hmm. the way they talk about how they were raised, how their parents so, have been uh, bringing up their families, how so, uh -huh. they've been handling issues in their homes. And you see, when they talk about their parents, when they talk about their grandparents, these are people who believe that men are the ones to have a say. Women don't talk. Women are there mm -mm. To, to, mm -mm. Be seen, yes. to be seen, not to be Yes, yes, you're there mm. to be seen, but not to be heard. But when we talk, uh, when we continued the program, uh, we realized most of them were going to adapt. Mm -hmm. Actually, they realized, okay, this is where we go wrong, and this is what we should be doing. And they know the impact that yes, it, um, yes. you know, the violence has on their children. Yes, some of them could say, Mi mwanamke is in yongelesha, mi nampiga slap. Mm. So unashindua, unampiga slap kwa nini? Can't we just have talk. a talk? Yeah, and that is where communication comes in. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about it? Right. There's an issue, can we talk about it? It's not all about shouting. Because uki shout, we have kids around. How do they take it? Mtoto akienda shule, what, does, what is in his mind or her mind? No, no, at Wangali, we are just talk, we are just thinking about us. It's all about me, mm -hmm. but not uh, the people in this house. So that the program was actually tailored for that, uh, to bring a conducive home for these kids. When they go to school, at least when they come back, they find a peaceful home. Peaceful home. Yes. And uh, from that pilot project, uh, did you see it working? Were there success stories from yes, the Yes, yes, actually. With? We had 24 mm -hmm. uh, couples, and it was amazing. Because at the end of it now, everyone could open up. Wow. Uh, okay, this is where I knew I was going wrong. And the women could come and say, hey, Actually, this program, I made to say, dear son, because my oh, husband familiar. has never. Ajawai yata chukua time at yanaenda kushata viombo. But once we started this, mtu anakuja, wewe si unaenda kutafuta, acha mi ni kusaidi na i kazi nyumbani. Amaleo, acha mi ni kupeleke mtoto shule. Ntabaki na watoto weenda unona. Yeah. Uh, so it was something yenye, we saw it had brought a very good impact. I wish mm. to get part of funding, we continue with it because it's really needed. Yeah, so easy, life has turned out to be so difficult to some couples because it involves around money. Kama kuna pesa, 
wako stressed pressure iko high mm, finances yes, the yes 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 root cause of the yes, problem so mm. we the kids want school fees sa hizi chakula zime triple prices rent ndio inatakikana some men flew away <laughs> wengine wana disappear exactly yes mtu ana disappear and the, yeah Same. during covid 19 mm. that is when we saw even wonders people just disappeared disappearing Yes. So we need to have a lot of this stock. So what yes. you're asking for is funding. Yes, for this mm -hmm. uh, for actually the the couple talks, the GBV to fight GBV mm -hmm. in our communities. Okay. Yeah. Tell us about uh, the leadership program. The leadership program uh, we try to push women Mm -hmm. more women into leadership positions and uh, f uh, to uh, Uh, this is uh, leadership uh, to the institution and political level mm -hmm. and um, we do this to try and fight uh, try and uh, have this two third gender rule mm -hmm. of which is still far away from a realization yes. <laughs> so um, having the two third we can have uh, when we have uh, many women more women into leadership positions actually they can create or rather implement mm -hmm. uh, policies that can create a, 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 a good environment mm -hmm. uh, in our Kenya uh, today for the growth system of our, of the girl child all right yeah. so how do you identify women to be mentored in the leadership positions we did this uh, with uh, in partnership just recently because mm -hmm. we uh, we We actually um, had a dinner uh, uh, and uh, celebrated the young women, the first cohort we had, mm -hmm. and this we did with in partnership with other organizations. We had with Siasa Place, Badili Africa, and um, Forum Civ uh, was the actually the uh, the founder, mm -hmm. and we did a successful one uh, since we had uh, 30 young women. Uh, who came through the program actually we had uh, many who had applied mm -hmm. but due to the resources we had we mm -hmm. could only take in 30 and um, we were so glad that uh, we had 30 women from Nakuru uh, and Nairobi because that was our target area and mm -hmm. uh, right now some of them uh, have actually Uh, how do i call this have registered uh, for the nominations wow. with their parties mm -hmm. and they will be vying uh, uh, the, the coming seat. election oh, we yes. just pray for them that they get them. Uh, yes because this thing uh, we, you are not given you have to go for it and take it so how do you ensure that you mentor them in the right directions because they might take the leadership positions and then uh, things remain the way they are so how what are you doing differently Uh, we talk to them of, uh, on how to handle matters uh, let's say uh, uh, how do i call this um, media mm -hmm. matters media the way the society has become too harsh for a woman that when you try to support someone or maybe uh, you try to uh, vie for a political position mm -hmm. uh, people will look for ways to bring you down mm, and this demeanor. involves around your family they want to look for something to talk about you in the family okay. uh, how to handle matters campaigns so we could talk about this like we prepare them for mm. the coming uh, campaigns and uh, the 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 position as well to fight for the position okay and well, uh, more than that more than you know preparing for that what if when they get into the, that particular position that they are going for because you know some are voted in because of for various reasons but how do we ensure that we have the right leaders the right women leaders in the right place because we have had women <laughs> leaders but what difference are they bringing you see um, we all as we advocate for women to be in the leadership positions obviously i cannot tell you will be the right person once you get to there to the position our job is to mentor you to become that person you were not before you came in mm. so the rest we leave to you we leave unto you because we now know like if you are a woman you're supposed to go fight for for your other women the policies that favor a woman in the mm. community not only a woman because you've just said it when you educate, when you educate a woman mm. 
You've educated the whole community. Yes, yeah, so women have a good heart. Mm. So we believe when you go out there, you will go with uh, putting our our interests as women uh, first, fight for us. Uh, you know the uh, things women go through. You know the hurdles women go through in the society. So your first job is to go out there, fight for your other women that you've left behind. Mm -hmm. So us is to mentor you, and to then, mold you, mm -hmm. and then we leave you uh, to go now do your part okay. as the leader you become. Okay. And I believe leadership is all about service. Serving yes, others. When you're yes. a leader, you're a servant. Yes, yes. And you've shown that in your own, you know, uh, life experience. That's how you came about with Inua Kike. You were empowered and you chose to empower others. Yes. So take us through this, uh, your journey. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. Inua Kike is Susan. If you see mm -hmm. Inua Kike, you see Susan. Mm, because yes. Inua Kike was inspired by my story. Um, we are seven uh, siblings in our family, mm -hmm. uh, four sisters and three brothers. Wow. So it was really difficult for our parents to take us all through school. Mm -hmm. And uh, it got to some point that um, I had to drop out of secondary school. This was in 2006. And uh, got into a relationship, mm -hmm. uh, marriage per se, but um, it couldn't last long since it was, it was an abusive one. Uh, going back home, here so I am. You, uh, let me take you back. You okay. dropped out of school mm -hmm. because of school fees. Yeah. And then you got married, but yes. didn't last. Okay. Yes, didn't last. So um, I took my baby back. Uh, we separated. I took my baby back. He was one week old. Mm -hmm. And now going back, we used to stay in a single room. Mm. Yeah, nyumba moja tu hivi sisi wote. So some some mm. of us could sleep on the floor, mm. some of us on the chair. We have our parents. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, when just one room, all of us there. The seven of you. Yes. Seven children. Now yes, you plus my two your... cousins. <laughs> okay. Seven <laughs> children, your two cousins, and now you're bringing on your one week old baby. Yes, in Madari. In, used to stay in Madari. In a single room. Yes. Wow. Okay. How was that? Difficult. Because um, this is a family where, at some point, for us, ndiyo uh, tukule nyama ilikuwa ni end month. We wait for uh, mm -hmm. dad apate kamshara kadogo because ya likuwa mtuwa kupakarangi. He okay. used to do easy ikazi ya kupakarangi huko industrial area. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually ndiyo ni drop out, yo job yake ilikuwa imeisha at that time. Because right. uh, job ilisha, madhe, uh, she's a tailor, she's still a tailor mpaka sai. Uh, so she used to do tailoring mm -hmm. and uh, in the morning ana mkasubuya na pika chapo anauza and yapate pesa kidogo anaweka weka actually if if not for her atunge soma strength of a woman <laughs> yes because she mm. used to like i really admire my mom mama moms are just amazing hey, with that big family mm -hmm. with that big family and i make sure to because my dad yeye yeah, yeah, ndiye do ni mpaka end month mm -hmm. na iko ati do Mom. Akidogo tu. Akikuja, he pays uh, rent. Anunue chakula siku mbili. Mm -hmm. Isha, isha. Ya, yeah, nadu. So, ni madhe ndo mnamtegemea. Ya, yeah, sasa madhe ndio tunategemea. Tunde tumsaidie ku, ku nini kushona. Sa zingine tunajifunza kushona. Ndiya kitoka, tunamsaidia kufanya repair mm -hmm. ya manguo. Tunauza nguashe. Tuko tunauza hapo vya zitamu. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, <laughs> uh, pia tu, alikuwa na... Asubuya na mka na pika chapo. Mm -hmm. So taking uh, all of us through school was really difficult. And I could see, really feel feel the pain she was going through. Mm -hmm. So I had to, like, when I dropped out, I thought I could help uh, help her through this. Because uh, for Kwake Yeye, it was really, really difficult. Strenuous, yeah. Yes, so me, I opted maybe. Mm -hmm. Nipatiane space, I go get married. Oh, so that's why you got married. Yes, yes. So mm -hmm. when I went to uh, that relationship, didn't last. It didn't last, and I had to come back with my oh. kid. So seven, two cousins, Thanks. my dad, mom, nine, ten, How eleven. Seven, I'm eight, coming back. Nine, ten, eleven. Now you're twelve. Yes, I'm coming back with my kid plus me. So sisi wote tuko apo tena. Wow, single room. My dad used to be told, eh, kwa hiyo ploti, watu walikuwa na mjuanga, 
-hmm. Ukikuja tu uliza ule mbaba kuna watoto wengi kwa yeah. shajua ni nani. <laughs> <laughs> Nguo wow. zikibo kwa hiyo ploti mm. ni nyinyi tu mtakuwa suspected. Mta uh, so wengi. life haikuwa easy. It wasn't easy. Mm. Uh, I tried looking for jobs uh, but I couldn't uh, I wasn't successful jo hii mambo ya KCSE certificate. Everywhere you go, nakuambia, uko na KCSC certificate, umemaza form 4, wauna. Mm. So, uh, luckily enough, I got one, ya kufagia compound, uko St. Benedict. Mm -hmm. That was my first job, oh. ya kufanya. So, I could try to hustle because, uh, before I got that job, it was really difficult, hata kurezi mtoto. Niko na mtoto mdogo, I'm so much stressed, nimetoka kwa ile relationship. Abusive relationship. Um, yes, yes, so, uh, uh, my diangu iko like I'm so very much stressed. Mpaka maziwa ina disappear. So mm -hmm. siezi nyonyesha. Mm -hmm. uh, so kupatata unga ya kubaya mtoto uji. Stress. Tuka grow tu, tuka grow tukienda mpaka kakanza kuongea. Sasa kana kuambele design yata kama hakuna hakuna mm hakuna -hmm. maziwa, hakuna uji, hakuna chochote. Uh, Basi ni baya tu mandazi moja. Wow. Na maji ni kunyu. <laughs> he got to understand the situation. Yes, wow. yes. I think he understood mm -hmm. mali penye tuko na mali tunailekea. So ni mami tu na mami. Mm -hmm. Sazi hine kama ana ana. Ana ana. Mm -hmm. At some point, aneza kuja na patata ni meka hapo na lia tu. And then he's like, mamu unalia? Itakuwa sawa. Oh. E, itakuwa sawa. Mm -hmm. Chakulia unalia. Wow. Uh, so, so he's my strength. Uh, exactly. I wanted uh, to ask, did you get strength from that? <laughs> yes, mm. yes. It's actually my strength. Mm -hmm. uh, so to kind of learn a life, uh, nika hustle, nika enda uko St. Benedict to sweep the compound. Uh, you get paid a thousand bob uh, in a week. Mm -hmm. Na yu inakuja. So once ni melipu watu papu ni kwa naendanga kuna soko ili kuna itu Ngumba Estate, Madhari. Mm -hmm. uh, ngumba uh, Market. Mm. So I could go there na nunuwa kuna uma malikuwa na uzanga matumbo. Mm -hmm. So naenda na nunuwa matumbo mob na peleka kwa nyumba. Cause uh -huh. ndiyo tuwane nyama ni mpaka end man. Mpaka end man. Eh, mm -hmm. Na dada kisha baileo kesho anado imeisha. Mm -hmm. So ni mam. Na mam yu pressure yote lunch. Sapa. Sometimes atukwa tunakula hata mm -hmm. breakfast na lunch. Mm -hmm. uh, tukwa tunangoja uh, sapa. Mm. We were even branded cause there's this woman mwenye tukwa we were used to buy gideri. Kila sani gideri, lunch gideri. Gideri, gideri. <laughs> so, gideri. alikuwa, mpaka ye ye mwenye, unampelekea biashara, but ye mwenye ndi anakusengenya. Oh, Anakombe, eh, hey, na awa. Ayo, gideri ya waitesha. Wow, okay. It was that bad. Yeah, so, um, uh, luckily enough, after that job, uh, I was doing uh, this uh, community work. That is where I began with my community work. Mm -hmm. And I met a young lady called Sasha. So mm -hmm. Sasha took me to Power 254. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Boniface Mwangi. Mm -hmm. So that is where nilianza kufanya job. Uh, nilikuwa na volunteer kufanya data entry. And then uh, nikaendelea na kazi, wakona kazi yangu ilikuwa mzuri. Nikapewa position ya assistant project manager. Uh, under Kenya Nikwetu program. Tukafanya fanya job. And then I realized, sasa hii job ikikuja kuisha ntenda, ntanzia yeah, wapi. Okay. Eh, na sina sat, sina anything. So I talked to Sasha, ni kamambia, Sasha, I want to go back to school. I hear students are being registered at this moment. So nilikuwa na like one week ndiyo registration ifungwa. Eh, uh, Sasha came through, haka nilipia hiyo school fee. Nikaenda, nikalipa hiyo do. After kulipa hiyo do, nao nikona miezi karibu tatu, no, tuseme ngapi? Uh, miezi karibu tano za kusoma. Uh, mama and dad separated, wakaenda, wakaniachia watu wote, familia, the whole family. Wow. Uh, kwa everyone, the, the, all the members of the family. What were you? Yeah? N what number were you? I'm working? number two. Number two. Yeah, number one didn't have a job. So uh, from number one to number seven plus your baby. Yes, and yes, and all of them. So with uh, your surrounding, the environment enye tulikuwa nayo, ikakuja ikakuwa 
at it is not favorable for us because mm -hmm. sasa everyone is talking about us ukipita una pinpointiwa tu ndio yeah, unaona eh, mom akaenda ya akaenda kanza job yake akabeba vitu zake akaenda dada akaenda how come mom <laughs> didn't take her kids with her I don't know. She just, just felt happened. like, hey, baggage. <laughs> well, uh, so the burden to is too on. much. So I had, mm -hmm. I had to become a mother at mm -hmm. that young age. Mm -hmm. I had to become a mother to my siblings and my son. Mm -hmm. So my son used to go to school. I have to pay rent. Uh, so nikahamisha, nilihamisha kila mtu tukaenda from Madare tukaenda Uruma. Mm. Kata after to a single room, I looked for a double decker, then some of us can sleep up or chini, wengine ju, wengine kwa kiti, wengine kwa floor. Mm. So that is how mtu ataki ingia. Actually, I remember when a man comes, maybe anataka kuni date, aki mm. kuja, the first thing na mpeleka kwa nyumba aone. So oh, aki kuja aone. Ajwe, Ooh. this is what I am doing. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Next day, uwezi muona. Oh. Mm. So he goes silent, auta muona. Yes. <laughs> and yeah. I stayed for long. Before you got it. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So it was difficult because when I took a job, when I was home, I had a tutor because Sasha had paid for the tutor as well. Mm -hmm. So tutor na kungoja kwa nyumba, you have your kid ametoka shule, unafakujua, uh, amesomaje, you have your family members, hapa wote, wana kungoja, ukisha rudi, they want to eat. Yes. You have to buy... Uh, food and everything, apple, and then na apa pia una need to concentrate kusoma. kusoma. Yeah, you went that way. Yes, yes. yes. You went a good one. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, I had limited time ya kusoma. Luckily enough, nilisoma, nikamaliza. Uh, mm -hmm. Nikapata certificate yangu. Mm -hmm. And coincide coincidentally, job ya power to five, four ikaisha. Wow. So, well, I had to look for seeds. another job. <laughs> I had to look for another job, mm -hmm. uh, which I got at Baus Optical. Now that certificate helped me to get a job at Baus Optical. So the KCC certificate is that important? Yes, very it, much important. At a size, mm -hmm. there are some, at a Kaziza Nyumba, people ask for it. For KCC some, yes, stars. yes, because you want to know if uh, whom you're leaving your kids with. Ni mtu aneza fundisha mtoto one, two, three, akibaki na, yes. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's becoming a a requirement right now mm -hmm. for any job opportunity. Wow. Okay. Yes. So um kupata job and then nikakuja nikakachini nikafikiria. Uh I've gone through so much in life. Uh nimepitia life ya madhare. I've seen uh girls like me going through the same situations. Luckily for me, I got someone who held your hand. Yes, who held my hand at that moment na akani push up akanipea tu a boost kidogo kwa life. Mm. What about these other girls? When uh, they drop out of secondary school due to early pregnancies, early marriages, or maybe lack of school fee. They don't na wanataka kurudi shule. Kwa marriage mtu na realize, hey, I need to go back to school. Because mm -hmm. uh, this is what I wanted, but nime end up hapa, life doesn't end here. I still have to fight and get what I want. Mm -hmm. My vision has, has I, I, fight, I should fight for my vision to make sure nifike hapo mali penye nilikuwa nataka kufika. Uh, na maybe Anna means za kurudishule mm. na apate hiyo sat. She has the will but she doesn't have the we. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that is how Inuakike came about. Okay. Yes. And how did you form it? You had the idea. The idea was that you wanted to I know. had the idea. So how did you implement it? <laughs> I had the idea. Mm. Now I needed uh, some support to implement it. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know how to run a project. But now this is where Akilidada comes in. Akilidada, uh, I applied for the fellowship program for one year. Mm -hmm. uh, that is where I went uh, to, um, to be mentored on project management, uh, how to h handle your project on matters, finances, and all that. So. Uh, the first grant we got from Akilidada, that is what implemented in Wakike's program, Somesha wow. Kike program. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's how it came about. Yes. I'm wondering how you had the drive to do this, yet you still have a whole family behind you. <laughs> and you're adding on another responsibility. How was that? It's matters passion and uh, 
perseverance. I, I think it's just passion, how I'm passionate about women mm. in my community, how I'm passionate at uh, I, how en I, I envision our women to be in our communities. Mm. So this drives me so much to do more actually cuz i i do more and then i na kani kama mtu hakuna kitu nimefanya like sifuatili ni jue ati sasa ju nilikusaidia naanza kufuatilia like eh nilikusaidia mali fulani vitu kama hizo no yeah. i do my part and then let you be let it be. yes so uh, actually if you want to come and give back to the community you it's just come to you you mentor, we can invite you to come and mentor like we do. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the students that um, had already gone through the program, they come back, uh, they give uh, their stories to the others mm -hmm. uh, to feel how uh, important that thing is and mm -hmm. uh, what you have to do to actually get to where you want to be. So it's actually about storytelling. No. You come, I tell my story. You, you never know who stories they can relate yes, to. Yes, and that makes yes. A difference. And actually, we are having uh, um, uh, some women, actually not women, young girls under 18 uh, who have kids, kids having kids. <laughs> wow. uh, and they are so comfortable with their lives in Madare. Wow. There are so many of them in Ukiono Unashtuka. Mm -hmm. They dropped out, awana malipa kuenda, wakotu hapo, and they are very comfortable with their lives. They even tell you, I see a tuna shida, so long as tumepala tu vile tunakula, akuna problem. Mm. They even tell you, you see there was this, um, they use, we, say, we used to say uh, you trade sex for pads. Mm. For them they do it for, for pampas. They say awana ata, like, they don't care so long as we men do whatever they want to do, mm -hmm. get them that money to just come and buy pampers. pampers. Yes. And wako too comfortable, wako too sour in yeah, their comfort sad. zone. That's, that's sad. So how do you, do you go for these girls or do they need to come to you? They want to we go mentored. for them. Uh, like we try to give, uh, to do mentorship. Like mm. we've said, uh, right now uh, we have very limited resources, so we can't help everyone. Mm. We would wish to have uh, to help as many as we can. But due to our limited resources, even during uh, COVID-19, mm. uh, we came through. Like uh, this was uh, supported by Manchester University. Uh, they came through and we distributed food baskets to more than 500 families. Wow. in Korogocho, Madare, Babadogo. It was just uh, to young mothers, not uh, older women. Mm -hmm. We could do this to young mothers uh, because we understood at that moment. And this is where we had a crisis of girls dropping out of school uh, due to uh, the early pregnancies. pregnancies yes, yes, the number was so high. Mm -hmm. So we could reach out to them, talk to them, and then uh, do mentorship. We don't just go and give you the bas uh, the food basket. We first mentor we them. We first talk to you. Mm -hmm. We understand uh, the the difficulties you are going through at that moment. Mm -hmm. um, if you need to talk to someone personally, we leave our phone number so that you can call us, and then we send someone to you. And this was really helpful to mm -hmm. so many women. And why is it important to you know first mentor them to change them? the mindset and mentality first people go through stress on a daily basis what are kutuna issues zao unaweza patana na mtu you talked to you talk to her ama him but mind yake mali iko iko very far so you first of all need to talk to them you share your stories you talk like let uh, let uh, let him or her feel free to talk to you and uh, make you understand what she or her, or him or her is going through mm -hmm. at that moment. So you need to prepare their minds psychologically. Okay. Yes. Would you say this is your purpose? Yes, this is what I was born for. <laughs> <laughs> you found purpose through what you went through. Yes, you yes, yes, yes. I, I really want, we are not um, thinking of only in Madare because we want to move to other parts of the country as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to bring these programs uh, to other 
counties. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, if we get the partners to do this, we will move world, uh, not only not only even in Kenya, but internationally as well. Those countries that, that have you know uh, vulnerable uh, yes, yes. ladies, women mm. who want education. All right. What's you, what gives you um, satisfaction out of all this as we close, come to a close? What brings you the joy, that is the satisfaction? Uh, the fact that um, when I do all this and I see uh, the girls you're trying to uh, fight for or maybe try to bring a change into their lives, uh, uh, doing what uh, is expected of them, Mm -hmm. and uh, being passionate and um, uh, being there to make sure they, they uh, reach to their goals, mm -hmm. that gives me satisfaction. And the fact that I go home, I see my kids, we are all healthy, it gives me more satisfaction. More satisfaction. Yes. Well, if uh, there's someone watching and they want to be part of the program, they've been at home, they've been uh, hopeless, but they want to come back to, to school, so how do they do it? How do they get you? Uh, our office is in Madare, Bethany Church, mm. uh, 2930 Madare, Madare North. Uh, you can also send us a message uh, through Facebook page in, uh, on Messenger. Uh, I can also share my phone number. Mm. Uh, our website is uh, inwakike.org. Uh, we have YouTube channel Inwakike. Mm. Uh, our tutor is at Inuakike. Facebook, Facebook page is Inuakike. Okay. Yes. As we close, talk to a girl out there that is going through a lot. Uh, they have dropped out of school. They, ha they don't have any work opportunities because they don't have a certificate. Uh, they're feeling hopeless, basically. So talk to them. Hey. <laughs> okay. Hey, it doesn't end there. Uh, if you have a dream, fight for it. No one else will do it for you, but you will have to do it yourself. Get out of the comfort zone and let's go get what we, we really want in our lives. So it doesn't end there. Get out. If you want to go back to school, look for these opportunities. Go back to school, get your certificate, mm -hmm. further your education, or maybe get a, a decent job using the certificate. Uh, if you, you are looking for a a job, do not give up, uh, keep on fighting until you get it. Do not give up, keep on fighting until you get it. Get out of your comfort zone. Okay, thank yeah. you. We celebrate you, Susan. What you're doing is very <laughs> incredible. You indeed are the kind of women that you want in our society. Thank you for inspiring us today. Thank you, thank you. All right, that has been Susan. Uh, that has been Susan. When we were Osite. Osite. That has been Susan Osite, the CEO and founder of Inua Kike, who has been talking to us about women empowerment through education. I hope you feel inspired. Know that it is never too late. As long as you can fight, fight for it. Never give up. Uh, we take a small break and we'll be back with the next interview with Valerie.